is Hillary Clinton your presumptive president in a couple of years? I don't see any reason why she wouldn't be. I mean, I think we're on, it's kind of interesting. Everyone sort of goes, everyone poo poos it, but I, I, I'm sort of thinking, look, ultimately we are in love with this notion there's this thing that's happened lately where, I don't know when it started. I think it's when, about the time we started calling free dogs at the pounds rescues, and then the who saved who bumper sticker started pop, popping up on everyone's Yaris, and now that everyone's a hero and everyone's part of change. And you know, the, the, I think we were all pretty happy, and not only happy from a historical standpoint, but happy with ourselves that we voted the first black president in office. Like we get to say, hey, that was on our watch. You know, when history looks back on this time, we'll all get to go, huh, 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 huh. yeah, before us, too uptight, man. Now, look at me, you know, that was me. That was on my watch. And you go, all right, good. And I think there was a sort of collective pride that it, you know, at least 51% of the country felt where they went like, we voted in, like, we're progressive, we're open-minded, that's, that's what we did. And I think we're on a little bit of a roll with that. So now we could make history again, I mean, back to back. And we're, we're, we're in a time when it's like, you think about this, uh, name escapes me, but the guy just got uh, drafted by the Rams, a gay football player. We're in a time when we're going, hey, the Rams, hey, no, I'm for that. No, that's great. And it is great, but we're all taking credit for it. And it's weird because we don't have anything to do with him or the Rams organization well, or the NFL, about it. but we tweet about it. <laughs> and thus we get some kudos and some that of boys because, hey, we said, hey, I was on Twitter saying that was awesome and the Rams are brave and this is great and this, what a difference and how progressive and everything we are. That might even though maybe the lion's share of the country doesn't look at Hillary Clinton as a female, <laughs> technically, she's got the parts. <laughs> Pretty sure she's got most of the parts to make her female. And I think we might just be on a roll going, we are gonna be part, when history is written, we will be that generation that was progressive enough and open-minded enough to, ver to vote in the first African-American and then the first woman back to back. And in a culture of we never stop tweeting out how great we are and how good we feel about ourselves, if it's close, that I think that could do it. It's funny because people are like, well, do you think the country's ready for a female or do you, or there's a still, you know, that glass ceiling or, I think it's just the opposite. I think it's we like the way, a lot of the country at least, is going to like the way they feel about themselves doing that. So I think she's pretty viable. Stop it. And he'd go, stop what? And I'd go, stop tapping your pen. And he'd go, you, can you even hear that? And I'd go, yes, it's like a fucking woodpecker. My head is driving me nuts. And he'd